So part two of the Pokemon review, the part where I've played it. Yes, it's been a while since the Pokemon game came out, We're talking about Sun and Moon, and if you've seen the previous video where I sort of gushed about it before it even happened, um, I was very enthusiastic about the game, just based on the trailers and everything I had seen thus far, and now that I've played it, let's talk about that, huh? Because it was awesome. <laughs> what do you think I was going to say? No, it was great. Um... To start with, I talked about in my previous video all the new features and stuff that they were adding and how that's going to change things, and I thought that that was good. Well, I think I stand right in that, where these changes, and I know not everybody liked all parts of it, and whatever, you know, I can understand, but at least to me here, I felt like these changes added like a whole breath of fresh air to the franchise, where simply by dint of more choices and options, the game was invigorated, where it felt like, for the, I don't know, first time in a little while since, I guess, they first released Mega Evolutions, that they had done a large and respectable change to everything that actually was more than just new Pokemon and a few new moves. Like, And while, yes, there are plenty of new Pokemon and new moves, and they're doing some very interesting things with all of that... The Z-moves, in particular, are what I want to highlight when I'm talking about the new features and how I feel about them. That, I think, serves as a microcosm to the whole new feel of things. Because the way they were implemented was very interesting in that you had to go find all of the pieces of them, and they sort of related to the story, but not directly. They weren't mainstay to the central story, but they were related to the whole, like, gym leader-type quest. And... They were sort of low-key, despite being, you know, super flashy and everything. Their presence in the actual story of the game was somewhat low-key, and I appreciated that. And in fact, you didn't have to use them if you didn't want to through the story. Yeah, I thought it was pretty helpful, especially in some of those, you know, legendary fights there, but... At the same time, you didn't need to use them. They were almost, you could say, optional in a way. And that's fine. It was good, in fact. If you really didn't like the Z-Moves, well, they're over there in the corner and you don't have to touch them. But the other big thing I guess I want to address here that has caused a lot of controversy, I want to give a nod to the people who are complaining, because this is one point, the plaza, the replacement for the online features, is subpar. I'll give you that. It really feels chaotic and sort of random, and trying to get all the best features for it currently seems like a crapshoot, basically. Just like you're going to have to play the numbers until it lines up right. And that's not the best. But everything else about the game is quite frankly fantastic. Now let's move into something that, generally speaking, I don't give a lot of attention to when talking about Pokemon, which is the story. For a Pokemon game, that story was dark and tried to do a lot. It it really touched on some things that were not really touched before in Pokemon. There was, you know, the Ultra Beasts, and the villain was creepy. She was, you know... They actually got her to be pretty, like, not just cartoonishly villain, but wow, this is actually kind of, like, creepy and... Ugh. And that's good for the game, because for so long, the villains have really just been cartoonish. And sure, Team Skull is completely cartoonish. They're right back to Team Rocket, sort of ridiculous. But the real villains, whom I'm going to leave unnamed, they actually do have that sort of feel of, you're you're bad. Like, this isn't, ha-ha, you're a villain. This is, you're, you're le legitimately bad. <laughs> What was fun was as soon as I saw that group in the game, I was like, you're the bad guys. You're the real bad guys. I know it. You're you're bad. There's something about you. You're just bad. <laughs> and it was very fun to have that vindicated later on. I'm like, I was right. See, you were evil. But it is somewhat predictable. But at the same time, it touches territory that really other Pokemon stories have never really touched before. And that is always a good thing. What does that mean for the next game? Yeah, I'm still going to talk about the next game. <laughs> um, what that means to me is that you have, you know, Z-Moves, which are overall successful. You had a bunch of other new features and things that were 
all in all, very successful and well implemented, I think. And you had new flesh added to the story, new depth added to it that really made it more than what you could have expected from a general Pokemon story. And going forward, I think that only means good things because that's going to tell the Pokemon team, yes, we should have more license to add new things, experiment, and try to do more with our stories and try to add new things. Like, they even added things that aren't really Pokemon. Again, the Ultra Beasts. They're playing around with the world that they built and trying to add new things to it, and that's always good. And sure, you know, the game lacks a certain luster, I will admit, that, like, feels completely polished, but I think that is the result of them adding so many new things and trying to go in so many different directions of newness and freshness that, well, they can only get better at, I think. They can only take what we have now and with the next game, make it twice as good. This is a huge step in the right direction for the Pokemon franchise. It can only end well, in my opinion. So, in closing, all I can really say is this game exceeded my expectations. It was wonderfully fun, colorful, beautiful, and tried to do things no other Pokemon game has really tried to do before. And what else can you ask from a game than to try to be at more than everything the other games were? Just saying.